Previously on WSC. Third one incoming! What the hell? Oh my god! No, no, no! Spare! What the hell just happened? That is gonna be the most shocking moment in WSC history! I acknowledge you as my tribal chief. And because of how well you proved yourself, I want you back as my right-hand man. You, Jay, will be the next tribal chief. You earn it. It was so easy to play you, to manipulate you, to get what I wanted out of you. The truth will come out, and when it does, you're gonna wish you listened to me. Roll the tape. I'm gonna toy with them, manipulate them, until we get everything we've ever wanted, baby. <laughs> oh no! Austin Theory taking it on home! We have new champs! What the hell? What the hell? Oh. Roman Reigns! Superman punch! Oh, oh my god! No! Tibbles! Oh. No, don't! Have fun defending your World Hardcore Championship in a 30-man Hardcore Royal Rumble match. Acknowledge me. From the sound of it, I don't think this crowd feels like acknowledging the Tribal Chief. And after what he did to Tibbles... I need you all to understand. I did everyone a favor. We can't have freaks like Shrek and shape-shifting dogs running around here. We can't have matches where the only way to win is to throw your opponent into a toilet. Nah, nah. It was a fun little experiment. But that is not what WSC is. That's not what made this company number one. The multiversal era is over! And the new era will be defined by the bloodline. But still, the guy that runs this company, hell, I respect him and everything he's built, but he couldn't have built it without me. And now, this is how he wants to treat his top guy? The number one in the industry? He wants me to defend my championship against 29 other men in a hardcore Royal Rumble match? This man really wants me to smash the entire roster? You know, I could complain. I could take my ball and go home. But I don't make excuses. So I'll tell you what. Not only will I enter the Royal Rumble, the rest of the Bloodline will enter too. Bloodline versus all! Better yet, I'm gonna set an example. I'm gonna enter number one. Send whoever you want. Either way, the Bloodline will be stacking bodies, and I will still be the World Hardcore Champion! Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, Solo! Yanking the mic away from his tribal chief! Has he... I've been loyal to you. Done everything this family needed me to do. You said I would be the next in line, the next tribal chief. But then you turn around and promise that to Jay? I thought the tribal chief was supposed to be a man of his word. with a difficult situation, but still, he tries to establish dominance within his own family.
That's right. I did tell you that you'd be next in line. But that position was always meant for Jay. And what he did for his family. Helping to ensure I unify the championships. He deserves it. You're young. You'll wait your turn. Jay is weak, and a traitor. I deserve to be the next tribal chief. Solo Sokoa is tweaking, and honestly, I don't think I blame him. This whole flipping and flopping from the bloodline is a- Wait a minute, that's Samoan Spike! Solo Sokoa almost struck the head of the table! And The Rock trying to play peacemaker here within the bloodline. Let me take care of this. Maybe the High Chief will handle things from here on out. Solo, you have a bright future. I know one day you'll sit at the head of the table. But for now, you need to know your role and listen to your tribal chief. We have one mission, and that is at the Royal Rumble, to keep the WSC Hardcore Championship in the bloodline. Mark my words, the Tribal Chief will walk out of the Royal Rumble as the World Hardcore Champion. The look on Solo Sokoa's face says it all. He's tired of waiting, and he's tired of living under the shadow of the Tribal Chief. What's next for the Bloodline? Guys, we've been through a lot together. In my wrestling career, there's been so many ups and downs. But what the Bloodline did to me... ...was not only the worst moment of my career... ...it's the worst moment of my life. Destroying the Time GPS is one thing. Roman, he may have been right to destroy. I can't honestly say that I felt equipped to have that kind of power. But Tibbles? That broke my heart. Being helpless and having to watch my best friend being separated from me forever. And then a few minutes before, Seth Rollins, a guy who I believed was my friend. I was prepared to retire, to hang up the boots, but he believed in me. He gave me the courage to keep going. I was so honored that he would allow me to be his tag team partner. And to find out that this whole time, it was all a lie? Seth as well as MJF, I rooted for them, I stuck up for them, I listened to them. And all this time, behind my back, they were scheming, trying to squeeze anything they could out of me. Seems like I can't trust anyone around here. With those words echoing around the arena, the Visionary makes his presence known to try and right the wrongs he has done to Nathan. But is it too late? We're gonna have to find out here and now. Look, I did what I did because you have always given the opportunities to Roman and Moxley. I've been underappreciated for far too long. But when we were teaming, the more I spent with you, I felt like we were becoming real friends. And I'm sorry that I let you down. I'm sorry that it all went down like this, but I know Roman Reigns better than anyone. Him and the Bloodline are stronger than ever, and they need to be stopped. So for you and this company, I'll do everything in my power to make sure Roman Reigns loses that championship at the Royal Rumble. The bloodline is going down. But I'm not going to stand side by side with you. The drip gods, we're no more. I guess that's that. Nate. Look, I'm sorry you had to find out about Seth like that. You know, it really hurt my feelings that you accused me of stealing Tibbles. But it looks like now more than ever, you could use a friend 
And despite you slapping me in the face, I think I could forgive you for that. I think it'd be great for us to put the past behind us and become friends again. Oh, really? You want to be my friend again? Then where the hell were you when the bloodline was beating me down, destroyed the time GPS, and then threw Tibbles through the portal, huh? Could have used a friend there. But no, you only care about yourself. You literally admitted to my face that you were using me. Manipulating me to get what you want, I know your game, and I'm not falling for it. You want opportunities? Well, the Royal Rumble is coming up. And I really hope to see you enter. Because I very much would love the opportunity to kick your ass and toss you out. I know you're mad at me, but I just wanted to say congratulations. Look at this old geezer trying to get the rub, trying to stay relevant. The only thing that anyone remembers about you is when you were thrown off a cage. You're a flop. You're old news. Grayson, I can handle this. What happened when I listened to you? I lost one of the biggest opportunities of my career. What happened when I listened to my new best friend Grayson Waller? We won gold. You never cared about me. I gave every bit of myself to you and your training. I was the test dummy for your amusement. You failed me. You just wanted me to be the next you. I don't want to be you. I'm Austin Theory and I'm going straight to the damn top. Okay, Austin, I'll leave you alone. Just know that after everything we've been through, all the work you put in to better yourself, you ended up teeming with a mirror image of who you used to be. Or should I say who you've become once again? An egotistical douchebag. I know that's not who you really are, but you need to figure that out for yourself. Don't listen to him, he's irrelevant. I'm a nice guy, I ain't no douchebag. Look what we have here, it's the tag team champions. Those new titles look good. They'll look even better on the Judgment Day. The Judgment Day has arrived in WSC, and we're taking over. I suggest you two watch your back. Look, Cody, I considered you a friend, but you ain't blood. I'm sorry, Us. Family is forever. When I saw that Roman was going to lose everything again, as much as I thought I wanted to see it happen, when you took the championship from him at WrestleMania, it almost destroyed our family. I couldn't let my family go through that again. So when I saw you were about to beat Roman, I had to do something. I had to. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. Cody, I need you to know that if you come for us, if you come for the bloodline, it won't end well for you. There's no way anyone stands a chance against the bloodline in the Royal Rumble. So when it's all said and done, for your own good, you need to stay out of bloodline business. Jay, as much as there's a part of me that wants to punch you in the face after what you did to me, I have to say, I understand why you did what you did. I don't have to like it, but I understand what family means to you. Because family means just as much to me. I could reminisce and ponder on the past and label trusting you as a mistake, but I'm not ready to call it that just yet. Because Jay, I know there's good in you. I know that you don't agree with how Roman Reigns goes about his business. I know you don't agree with how he treats his family. Now you slip back into familiar habits. You've been conditioned to help Roman Reigns at any cost. But you're more than that, Jay. Look how great you were doing on your own. These people all believed in you. And just like them, I've always believed in Main Event, Jay Uso. The crowd shares the same sentiment. But at the Royal Rumble, it's bloodline versus all. And if that includes you, then know this. Even though it seems like an impossible task, I am no stranger to defying the impossible. I will win the Royal Rumble. 
and I will reclaim the World Hardcore Championship. Cody Rhodes pleading to Jey Uso, but wait a minute! From behind, AJ Styles with a steel chair, bending it over the spine of the American Nightmare! I guess he still blames Cody for losing his money in the bank briefcase, his meal ticket to the top of the mountain here in WSC. And Jey Uso just leaves, leaving Cody Rhodes to suffer with the Styles Clash onto the steel. AJ Styles came in like a calculated assassin, waiting for the right moment. Cody Rhodes was at his most vulnerable. Look, I know I'm probably the last guy you want to hear from right now, but I heard you're doing better. And right now, the bloodline is getting out of hand. They're too powerful, and no one wants to stop them more than you. Look, we need you. I need you. One last time, for old time's sake. If anyone can stop him, it's us. Please, just think about it.